What's up, Christchurch? It is Jeremy, and you guessed it, it is Thursday. So that means two things. Number one, it's time for Thursday announcements. Number two, it's almost Friday, and everybody loves a Friday. So listen, we're gonna jump right in. I've got some notes because we got a lot to talk about today and I wanna make sure that I give you guys this information. So if I look at my phone, just know that I'm making sure that I'm telling you everything correctly. So I'm at my house today and right here on the corner of my, um, my screen, you might see my former co-host for the Thursday announcements, my lovely wife Paige, but Paige is, um, is a hard worker, so she's back there doing her own job, but she wanted to say hey for a second, so. Hey guys. There's her hey as I'm doing you. these, miss you. So it's what she says. So she misses all of you. So let's jump right in guys. So listen, this past weekend, Trevor talked all about uh, family relationships. And he talked a lot about how um, the role for men in those relationships to basically be the best husbands, fathers, and sons uh, we can be. And to do that, we need community with godly men. So with that, that's gonna be our theme today for Thursday announcements. We're gonna talk about some awesome opportunities to connect with some men's groups. So, did you know there are three Saturday morning men's groups? They all start at 7.30, but they meet at three different spots around Mason. So, here we go, we're gonna jump in, all right? Number one, we have the Daniel Plan Saturday Coffee Group. This is led by John Thompson. So once again, that's Saturdays at 7.30, and these guys meet at the Panera on Mason Montgomery Road. So they're currently studying the Daniel Plan, which is a book by Pastor Rick Warren about health and fitness. So if that sounds like something you wanna get involved with, I highly suggest you check it out. So number two is called Do What It Says Saturday Morning Men's Group. This one is led by David Buckley. So once again, this one's Saturdays at 7.30 a.m. It goes until 9 a.m. And these guys meet at Joseph's Cup on Mesa Montgomery. I love Joseph's Cup. I'm a huge coffee freak. So if you've never been to Joseph's Cup, definitely check it out and go hang out with this awesome group of guys. They are currently studying the book of Galatians. And all right, number three, there's just one called the Men's Coffee Group. Sounds like my kind of place. This one is led by Gary Herbert. So basically this one is all about spending time together that is just sharing life, scripture, uh, praising together, praying together every week. So once again, Saturdays at 7.30 a.m. and they actually meet at the church in front of the fireplace. And currently they are studying the book of Romans. So while we're talking about men, guys, we have a really cool opportunity coming up that I am lucky enough to get to be a part of. So this is on March 19th and 20th at Butler Springs Christian Camp, which is located in Hillsboro, Ohio. So they are having their annual man camp. So our very own lead pastor, Trevor DeVage, is the main speaker and myself, Matt James and Wes Holman are going to be leading worship. So on top of all of that, there's also going to be basketball, volleyball, dodgeball, ping pong tournaments, uh, high ropes course that's gonna be open. There's just a ton of activities to do out there. So we're calling all men, as well as their sons, nephews, grandsons, grandpas, etc. anybody you want, come join us for Man Camp 2021. For more info or to register, we're gonna put a link in the comments below. Okay, let's see here, next on the agenda, I don't know if you guys heard about this on Sunday, but Trevor mentioned a project in Ghana, Africa that we are helping with. From February 21st until March 7th, we have a big goal. We want to raise $22,000 to help Joshua and Victoria Bobbini build a protective boundary wall around their school property in Ghana, Africa. This project, this property is going to be a refuge to women and girls who have been victimized by human trafficking. This boundary wall is not only gonna keep the women safe, but it's also gonna protect the land that they have from potential squatters. So if you guys think you can help us reach the big goal, you can text Ghana to 513-283-0416 to donate, or I will also post a link below. Definitely check that out, guys. Please help if you can. This is an awesome, awesome project that we are we're trying to help out with. It's for a great cause, so please help out if you can. All right, so this coming Sunday, we are in our last week of our relationship series, and we are talking about enemies. Whew, enemies. Do you have people in your life that you struggle to get along with? 
Maybe it's a neighbor, a coworker, maybe it's even someone in your own family. So make sure you join us Sunday, either online or in person, as Trevor unpacks what we need to do with those relationships. We got through it, guys. That's all I have for you today. So listen, as always, just to remind you, there are so many different ways that you can connect with us on Sunday morning. In building, we've got two services, 9 a.m. and 10.30. We hope to see you there. I will be there. It's going to be a very, very good time. Now, if you want to see what's going on in the auditorium, but you're not quite ready to be back in the building, you can head over to our YouTube page where you can do our live stream option once again at 9 and 10 30 on youtube now if you want to check out our new cc live experience that's going to be on our website facebook roku amazon etc i think i got all of them but there might be one or two that i missed that's going to start at 9 50 and that's going to give you all sorts of programming from kids and students to an adult worship time together with a message from Trevor and discussion questions. So that's 9.50 a.m. Last but not least, as always, at 10.20, you guys can head to the Monkey Bar and Grill for Church at the Bar. So many different ways to connect, guys. We cannot wait to see you. We cannot wait to worship with you. I will see you Sunday. Paige, will see you Sunday. See you Sunday. Say bye. All right, guys. We will see you Sunday.